Hi guys, in today's video I will be testing some fan ducts designed for the TiVo Tornado 3D printer. Some time ago I did a comparison test on the tarantula to find the best fan duct designed for layer cooling. I downloaded and printed a few fan ducts, tested them and with that I found the best one. Now I decided to make the same evaluation for the tornado. So which is the best fan duct for the TiVo Tornado? Let's find out. Fortunately, there are already many designs available for this 3D printer. For my tests, I used the following designs. The stock fan duct and blower fan of the TiVo Tornado. A fan design equipped with a fan. You can get with or without level sensor support. Same fang design, but equipped with a blower instead. A dual fan fan duct. The popular Pets Fang fan duct. And a dual blower fan duct. For this model, you can find many versions available on Thingiverse. The one I tested, you can find the link below. Same for all other models. To print these fan ducts, I used this green filament from Filament PM. This color is amazing and matches perfectly the color of the TiVo Tornado. And for the tests, I used the same special cube that I designed for the test with the tarantula fan ducts. So first, let's start with the stock one. One of the issues with the stock setup is that you don't have much visibility of the print if it's a small one like in this case. And this is the result. There are a few issues with the overhang as I predicted, but not the worst I've seen for sure it can still print fairly well. Next, we have the fang with the blower and the fang with the fan. These are the easiest to install out of all the designs I have to test. This one uses a blower on top. The design is beautiful. And you have the version with the fan. Both are the same except for the fan support. You also have the option for the level sensor. But first, let's disassemble the stock one. Here's how it looks installed. This one allows a much better view of the print. And this is the result. Surprisingly, this model with the fan much worse result than the stock one. 
more issues with the hang area as you can see. Even when using a 40 by 40 by 20 fan. Let's test the other version with the blower and see if it improves the print quality. And this is the result. Much better with the blower version. The hanging is far better and the overall is very good. Next is the dual fan design. I will be using a couple of 40 by 40 by 20, 24 volt fans. For this one, you need to print three pieces. One of them is the front support for the hot end cooling fan. The third piece is a plug to cover the hole on the front that is used to insert the allen key to tighten the screw. The designer super glued his. Because I need to remove it afterwards, I will cover the hole with a bit of tape. We can also have a fairly good visibility with this one. And this is the result. We can see that the overhang is not bad, but the previous one with the blower was able to perform better. The rest of the model seems to be very good. Next, we have the Pets Fang, also known as the Tron figure because it resembles the spaceship of the movie Tron. You need to print two pieces. One will be secured to the X carriage and the other will be secured to this first piece. The side screws are very small. You need a few M2 type screws. You can use the ones from the stock fan duct, but you need to extend the holes of the center piece. Another issue is that the center piece does not slide into place due to the hot end screw heads. You need to unscrew these to be able to place the center piece. I decided to cut a couple of small openings so I could slide it without unscrewing the screws. This will allow the air to go down to the heat block. But since I have the sock over it, I guess it will not make a difference. You also need to get a long M3 by 30 screw for the top hole. Unlike the previous ones that are plug and play, this one can be adjusted in height and you need to take this into account when installing it so that it does not get too high and throw air to the nozzle instead or too low and hit the print surface. The design is not very attractive but as long as it has a good performance that's what counts. Even being a big fan duct 
you can still have a decent view of the print. And this is the result. Very good overhang. Very similar with the fan duct with the blower. Actually, it will be very hard to choose between the two. Next is the dual blower fan duct. I first printed this version with the level sensor support, but this one does not allow adjustment and is not complete. The front fan support is missing. I then printed the complete version. This version has a different air output. Its shape seems more efficient and the bottom is covered, preventing the air to hit the nozzle and the heat block. The downside of this model is that you need to remove the hot end to install it, meaning that you need to confirm your pad to nozzle distance before starting the print. Another negative point is that the front fan support must be glued on. This is not a big issue as you just need a drop on each side of super glue and a few seconds later is secured strong. One more negative point is that the left blower does not fit properly due to the screw head that secures this piece. After resolving these issues, I started the test. Visibility wise, is not the best one, but is still better than the stock one. And this is the result. The result was not bad either, compared with the best two. Just some minor differences. Because of the issues and negative points I've mentioned before, this one will not be in the final round. Since I have two designs very close to each other, I decided to make another test. I downloaded this bridge test and printed one for each fan duct. Again, the results are very similar. I can see some minor issues on both prints. Taking into account all the print details, the pros and cons of both fan ducts, including the installation procedure, the one I choose as the best fan duct from my tests and the one I will be using in my printer is the FANG with the blower model. And that's it you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked my video, feel free to follow me on YouTube and Facebook for more about 3D printing. Also if you like my work, support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys next time, bye!